We'll guide you through how to double tap to turn your phone screen off and also on, on an Android. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So we'll be going over two different ways you can do this because your phone may have the setting built in or we may have to do the alternative method, which we'll get into. This phone here is a Samsung, so you may have the setting as well if you have a Samsung, but it's worth checking even if you don't, and we'll get into the second method as well. So open up your settings, and what you need to do is go and scroll down like so until you get to advanced features. In advanced features, you need to locate emotions and gestures, which is down here, sort of in the middle of your screen. And then, as you can see at the top here, we've got the settings. Double tap to turn on screen and double tap to turn off screen. And what you can do is make sure these settings are switched on. Then that's it. If I double tap, my phone screen will go off. However, if you don't have those settings, don't worry. What we can do is go and get an app. Now go and open up the Play Store and click on search. And what you want to do is type in double tap screen on and off. And the app we're going to use is this one here by App Studio K. So go and click on install and wait. After it's finished, you can go and click on open. So for this to work, we will need to go and give it a few permissions, but it's going to guide us through. So what we can do is go and click on double tap to turn screen off, just like so. And now we need to go and give it these permissions. So first of all, accessibility, we can click on enable and click on agree. Installed apps here. And then you need to go and find double tap screen on and off. And we can then go and switch it on like so and allow it. We can then go and press the back button and get back to the app like so. It will say done. We can then do usage access as well. You need to go and switch it on, then press the back button. And then for draw overlay, we need to go and click on enable now, go and find it and switch it on. And we can then press the back button. So we've now gone and given it its permissions and we can press the back in the top left. Now that you've given it the relevant permissions, you can then go and turn these settings on here. I don't need to as I've already got the setting built into my phone. 